Hi everyone, welcome back to my web journey. So many of you have given your NEET exam and I received a lot of messages regarding the expected cutoff for getting admission veterinary college this year. So I have made this detailed video for you people. But I request you to watch this video till the end because if you skip any part then you will get confused and you will get worried unnecessarily. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So first of all, talking about my NEET score. So I have given NEET exam in 2021 and my score was 516. My All India rank was 74,000 something and my category was OBC. And in 2021 VCI counselling, I got admission veterinary college, government veterinary college in Tanuas in first round itself. So in the first round only, I got the college. Now you need to understand one thing that cutoff varies every year it's not the same it always changes depending on various factors we'll discuss those factors later in the video so let's talk about the last year cutoff i have made a separate video on that also you can check in the description box or you can check on my channel i have uploaded a lot of videos regarding visa counseling and the expected cutoff let's talk about the last year cutoff that is 2022 visa cutoff now in the cutoff list only ranks are mentioned, no score is mentioned. So, for general category, the last rank at which the college, government veterinary college was allotted, it was 85,555. For OBC category, it's 90,130. For EWS category, it was 88,790. For SC category, it was 2,45,397. And for ST category, it was 2,84,289 So this was the All India NEET rank at which Government Veterinary College was allotted through VCI counselling. Now as I earlier told that cutoff varies each year. So it depends on the level of paper, your level of examination, your number of applicants which are applying for the counselling, All India rank, category rank, your NEET score. So these are the factors which affects the cutoff. So let's talk about the expected cutoff for this year. What I'm telling you right now is just a general idea based on the last year cutoff and other factors. So this is a general idea. It's not that if you're not scoring this much marks, then uh, you cannot get a college or you will definitely get a college. It's, it's not like that. It's just an idea. Now, if you are from a general category and you're scoring between 490 to 500, then there is less chance of getting a government veterinary college you might get private veterinary college but for government veterinary college the chances is less but still don't lose hope you have to participate in the visa counseling okay. and in the state veterinary counseling if it is based on the need score so if you're scoring 500 or in between 500 to 530 then the chances are moderate like you may get a college or you may not get a college and if you're from a general category and scoring 530 plus then there is a high chance of getting a good veterinary college let's talk about the obc category so if you're from obc category and your score is between 450 to 480 then there is less chance of getting a government veterinary college you might get private veterinary college but chances for government veterinary college is less if you're scoring between 490 to 510 then your chances are moderate you may or you may not get a government veterinary college and if you're scoring above 520 marks in NEET, then there's a high chance of getting a good veterinary college that is government veterinary college talking about the ews category so if your score is between 490 to 500 then there's a less chance of getting a government veterinary college if you're scoring between 510 to 520 then the chances are moderate and if you're scoring above 530 then you have a high chance of getting a government veterinary college for sc category if your score is between 300 to 350 marks then you have a less chance of getting a government veterinary college if you're scoring between 390 to 420 neat marks then your chances are moderate that you may or may not get a college and if you're scoring 450 plus then there's a definitely you will be getting a government veterinary college and there's a high chance of getting a government veterinary college now let's talk about the ST category. So if you're scoring between 290 to 320 NEET marks, then chances are less. If you are scoring between 330 to 390 marks, then the chances are moderate that you may or may not get the college. If your NEET score is above 400, then you have a high chances of getting a good veterinary college, that to government. 
so this is a general idea don't take it very seriously that if you're not scoring this much marks then you won't be able to get a college it's not like that it is completely based on the previous year cut off and somewhat my experience if you want to know more about the vci counseling in the last year cut off then you can check my youtube video which is mentioned in the description box you can go and check that out i have made a complete playlist about the vci counseling and all other important things so you can check on the channel and you don't need to worry at all i'll be making more related videos and they are coming very soon so don't worry at all i'll be there till the veterinary counseling till your vci counseling moreover i'm on instagram also by my vet journey link is in the description you can check where i upload content related to veterinary science as well as my personal life so you can check that out and you can check out my telegram channel also the name is my vet journey you can check that out where i have uploaded notes my first year notes as well as some question papers so it might help you so that's all in this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video till then take care bye